All right, now we're going to look at nth notation for arithmetic sequence. This nth notation is what we have to memorize for our test. Our nth notation is written right here. Um, I'm going to just rewrite it and talk about it. So if I want a n, a n we know as any term. It could be a 1, a 3, a 4, a 100. I'm going to have to take my first term, a 1, plus the change, so my difference, times n minus 1. Okay, so if I have an example right here, I have 15, 10, 5, 0, negative 5. We've done this a lot in class. We know that my change every single time is a negative 5. Negative 5, negative 5, over and over and over. I can go ahead and keep going, and I'll get a new term every single time. If I want to find this term, which is known as a n, how am I going to do it? Boom, the equation. Very easy. So what I've grabbed first, I grab a1, which is 15. a1 is 15, my first one. I go ahead, I say plus. Well, what is my d here? Well, every single time my difference is negative 5. So d is negative 5. I put a negative 5 in here. And then I have n minus 1. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I just need to clean up this equation right here. And I'm going to do that by distributing. PEMDAS tells me parentheses first. So let's go ahead and distribute this. Negative 5n, negative 5, negative 1. Multiply those. That'll give me a positive. 5 times 1, give me a 5. Bring down what's left over. Combine my like terms. A 15 and a 5 are my like terms. So now I have 20 minus 5n equals a n. So now I have an equation that can predict any single term I want. Any a n. If I wanted a 1, well, all I have to do is put a what right here. Well, I put a 1 here, so I put a 1 here. What is 20 minus 5 with a 1 plugged into my n? Well, negative 5 times 1 is a negative 5. 20 minus 5 is 15, telling me that a1 equals 15. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Let's check a5. If I take a5, I need to take the same equation, 20 minus 5 times my n. Well, my n is a 5 now, so I put a 5 in here. 5 times 5 is 25. 20 minus 25 is negative 5. So now I'm saying that a of 5 is negative 5. Is that true? Yes, it is. This will work for any single number. So what is a of, oh, let's say 666. I want my 666 term. So I'm going to take it, 20 minus 5. Who goes in here? 666. So I go ahead and I multiply that. I'll need a calculator to do that. Calculator. What is 5 times 666 equals 3330? All right. So this is going to be negative 3330. 20. 20 minus 300. 3330 is going to be negative 3000. 310. This is my 666th term of this equation. I will be able to find any term I want with my powerful nth notation for the arithmetic sequence.